Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to do a quick campground review of Mountain Home RV Resort in Mountain Home, Idaho. Mountain Home RV Park is a hidden little gem. It's right off of I-84, about 36, 37 miles east of Boise, Idaho, and somewhat in between Boise and uh, Twin Falls, but closer to the uh, Boise side, that's for sure. Now, as you approach from the east where the freeway is, you'll see some of the signage over here. It's really hard to see as you're approaching from the road and the G your GPS will tell you to go down this street here, but this is actually the exit. And so you will see over here that they have an enter sign. But the sign is very hard to see, especially if you're driving on the uh, road coming in fairly quick. There's a there's a uh, Walmart right across the street, so when you pass the Walmart, you'll know you're you're getting close. It, the resort is part of uh, G7 resorts, and I believe they have four resorts in Idaho, one or two in Washington, and two in Arizona. And they're all really kept very nicely. Uh, we stay at another one in McCall, Idaho, which I'll do a, a review of also. Let me jump on the bike and show you some of the features of the, the park. As you first drive in, the first thing you'll notice are the grounds are very well maintained. It gets very lush with greenery and beautiful rose garden over here at the end of this entrance. They have some benches in there where you can sit. And there's also a picnic table over here. Just really nice. As you pull in towards the office, You'll see there's some storage over here on the right. And I'm not sure if it's associated with the uh, resort or not. I assume it is, but I'm not 100% positive. Then over on the left over here, you can get propane. They have a huge propane tank. In fact, they have two on the property. The main office is over here on the left. When you come up, you're gonna drive up into one of these two spots and somebody will uh, greet you. Immediately to the right is a dog area, a playground area, a pool, and some pickleball and basketball courts. So as I drive around on my bike, I have an electric bike that I'm riding. The resort seems to be broken down into three phases. And so this, this first phase that I'm gonna take you through seems to be the oldest of the three. And you can see it's beautifully tree lined. Very well kept. They has little street lanterns uh, for at night. There's sidewalks. Uh, a lot of people have gardens. We had some wind last night, so you'll see that this truck uh, had some tree branches that fell down. But these sites are really nice. We particularly like it. We're here in June and it's a little warm in the late afternoon, but the shade from the trees is beautiful. Now straight ahead of us looks to be the newest part of the park.
And what I'll do is I'll post a map of the park on our website and put a link in the comments below. But this area, the sites seem to be a little wider. They have grass and gravel, where the ones in the older section typically have a primarily grass and there's a little bit of gravel around the water area and the sewer hookups. This building here was recently built. It looks to be another laundry room and facility. I don't even think it's open yet. And there's another area where you can get propane. And you could tell by the, the growth of the trees that this area is just a little bit newer. They do allow pet fencing, as you can see on this uh, unit right here. And a lot of people have gardens here. They're full-timers. Uh, usually you could tell the full-timers they have a, either a porch set up or a large propane tank like these folks over here. Right now I'm headed back towards the office area, but still in the newer of the uh, sections. You can see uh, over here on my left, they have a, a nice garden set up. And then this person over here on the right, they have raised gardens set up. Now this is what I would call the midsection. So if you look at the tree growth, this was probably the second section. The trees are a little bit bigger, but not as big as those over there. The pads are all very level. They're all cement. They were all full hookups, 50 amp, 30 amp, water, sewer. Most of the sites in the middle sections are pull through. Backside of the uh, main office, you can get packages here. They have also mail slots so that if you're getting any mail, this person is staged in the check-in area. Check-in is at noon. I think the monthly rates are around $500. Not sure if that includes electricity or not. And I'll take you down one more row. They do have late check-in. There's signs around that says uh, if you're checking in late, there's certain spots that have blue lights on and you can temporarily go into those spots until they get you to your permanent spot. Over on my right is an example of a place that somebody you know, added on a porch to their unit. And obviously they're here on a full-time basis. On a scale of one to 10, I would rate this a park as a nine and a half. And I, I don't know what would get it to a, a 10, maybe if, if it had moderate climate in the winter time, but that would be the only uh, thing. It's, it's a beautiful community. Everybody is very friendly. The grounds are well maintained. Everybody takes care of their stuff. They don't seem to have any wild rules about uh, the age of your RV. And yet everything looks nice and clean and tidy. As we drive out here towards the, looking at the newest section, you can again get an idea of that there's just not a lot of tree cover there. So if you 
like a lot of sun, that's the area for you. If you like a lot of shade, the older area is the best part for you. When you drive in, somebody will guide you to your spot on a golf cart. We're approaching our site, and what I'll do is I'm going to pull in and just walk you around a little bit and show you. They do have some rules about not putting things into the grass. So if you have a sign or any spikes or anything like that, uh, there's irrigation that goes on every night. Uh, we do put fencing up. We move uh, our chairs out onto the grass. We've even slid this table they provide out and had a barbecue with uh, some friends over. Uh, we like this particular site. It's number 158 just because uh, nobody is actually behind you. You have this big cottonwood tree on this side. You can see there's more than enough space. So we have our car parked out in the front and then there's also additional room over here if you wanted uh, to park another car. Some people put their tables in the back. And this is the little bit of gravel area I was talking about that the older section seems to have for uh, hook your hookups. Just enough not to get the grass all wet. We love this tree right here. It's a beautiful spruce tree and uh, we watch the birds and they go in it all day and have a good time. It's just coming from Arizona, we love to see a lot of green and this place certainly fills that bill. Certainly a great place to live year round. We met a lot of people here from the Arizona area that come up uh, for the entire summer. Uh, give this place a big thumbs up. We hope you appreciate this video. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and share this video with anybody that you know. We have a bunch of campground reviews for our channel coming up. So please take a look at that specific section in our YouTube uh, channel list and you'll see other campground reviews. Have a great week, everybody, and we hope to see you someday while traveling on the road. Bye.